Hello, everybody. It's by Tally here at Red Barn Productions. And this morning, we're going to talk about getting the Behringer X32 to work as an audio interface in Cakewalk by BandLab. It used to be Sonar. Uh, so let's get this set up for you. There's not going to be a bunch of muss and fuss. We're just going to get right to it. I'm not even going to try to zoom into the mixer and all that stuff. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time. And if you're using the X32, you need to make sure that you have the alerted, the latest version of their driver installed. As of today, that is version 4.59.0. If you do not have that installed, go right over to Behringer, download it, and install it because the generic ASO for all driver will not work right. I've got it installed, so there we go. Once again, make sure you have the latest uh, XUSB driver installed. It is ASO compatible, ASIO compatible, but the ASO for all will not work right. And then you're going to come over here and click on edit. Click on preferences. And I've already got it installed, but you're going to come over and click on playback and recording. And it's going to ask you all this when you install Cakewalk. So make sure that you have that correct USB driver installed before you uh, try to install Cakewalk. If you already have it, in, uh, uh, if you've already installed Cakewalk and it didn't work and, and you've got the, the older uh, USB driver Go download the drive, reinstall it, open up Cakewalk. Don't open up a project, just open up Cakewalk. Click on Edit, click Preferences, uh, Playback and Recording. And you're going to choose, it's going to give you a whole choice. Depending on what you've got installed on your system, it's going to give you a lot of choices. And you want just the plain old ASO. ASO. You can come over to Devices. If you've got anything else checked, uh, don't ask me why, but you have to come down here to Output Drivers first. If you have anything else checked, uncheck it, and then start checking your XUSB. Get all those checked. Come back up here to the input drivers. Uncheck everything, and then choose the X USB ASIO drivers. And for some reason, it, it comes in stereo, so it's got one and two and three and four. And it doesn't show you that, but that's what it's done. Uh, and you're going to check every one of them. Click apply and then click OK. And it's that easy. Let's open up a recent one that I've worked on here. There you go. It's that that simple. No must, no fuss. We, we didn't waste any time. That's that's how easy it is. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. You can answer in the comments below. This is Vitaly Justice here at Red Barn Productions, and y'all have an awesome, awesome day.